All right, so the first method I'm gonna show you is definitely the easiest, and it works really well if you have a stuffing that's a single small item, like dried fruit or garlic cloves, or something that's pipeable, like a mousse or a, or a spreadable cheese, that kind of thing. And this one is super, super easy, and it involves uh, a knife sharpening steel, just like the one I've got here. First things first, I'm gonna take a small knife, this is a filleting knife, and I'm just gonna make a little hole right here in the end, and I'm gonna go all the way through our pork coin, trying to stay right even in the middle and come out the other side, just like so, okay? So now I'll turn my knife around once, like so, just to widen the hole up a little bit, and now I'll take it out. Now we'll use our sharpening steel, and it's important to make sure this is nice and clean. You don't wanna use this if it has a bunch of metal shavings on it where you've been using it, obviously. So nice and clean, and then we'll take our sharpening steel, put it right in that hole we just made with our knife, and then use the steel to just make the hole a little bit bigger, right? And now you have a nice size hole that's perfect for stuffing with garlic cloves, cherries, dried fruit, uh, and again, anything that's pipeable like that. Now remember, when you serve this and slice it, you won't have that really nice pinwheel look. You'll just have the stuffing in the middle. So if you wanna get that nice pinwheel look, or you have a stuffing that isn't easy to fit into a small hole like this, you wanna use one of the next two methods. Okay, so this next method involves the use of a chef's knife or any kind of knife like this and a meat mallet. We're gonna butterfly the pork loin and we're gonna start right here at the top of the center of the pork loin and I'm just gonna cut down. Now, I'm not gonna cut all the way through. I wanna cut down until there's about an eighth of an inch between my cut and the cutting board, okay? Now, once I've cut down this far, now I'm gonna cut in towards each side, just like so. And I'm just rolling it out as I cut into it, okay? And we're gonna do the same thing with this side. I'm just gonna cut right to the side, and again, I'm not cutting through. I basically wanna be able to open it up like a newspaper, okay? So now we have our pork loin opened up, but you can see this is still way too thick to stuff and roll back up. So we're gonna use our meat mallet to make this part really simple. here and then roll it right up. Now from here you can wrap it with some butcher's twine to keep it sealed or some strips of bacon or pancetta or your favorite meat. Even a vegetable like Swiss chard or uh, turnip or mustard green is also a great wrap for a roast like this. Okay so for our last method of butterflying the pork uh, to prepare it for stuffing I'm going to show you how to do it sort of like you would do a, a prepare a cake for a jelly roll. And we're gonna use a long, sharp knife for this. This could be any long, sharp knife that you got. It could be a chef's knife or a roast carver. This is a smoked salmon carver, but any long knife will do. So I'm gonna start with my knife flat, parallel to the cutting board, about an eighth of an inch off the surface. And I'm just gonna to start to make a cut straight across the pork loin, just like so. Now, once I get to the side over here, I'm gonna to begin to unroll the pork loin, just like this and I'm gonna to continue to cut, unrolling it as I go. So this way gives us a pretty nice, pretty thin, pretty even butterfly pork loin ready to fill with stuffing. If we wanna make it a little thinner, no problem. We'll just cover it with a piece of plastic wrap and flatten it out a little bit more with our meat mallet. You can also do this if you didn't get it exactly the same thickness as you cut it. You can use this to sort of smooth out the mistake, so to speak. So there you have it, nice and even. And what's great about this too, because it's even, we know that it'll cook consistently as well. So now all you have to do is add your stuffing here and roll it this way, or add your stuffing here and roll it this way. No matter which way you choose, it's definitely gonna be a beautiful pinwheel preparation. And again, 
from here, you just tie it with butcher's twine or with some bacon or cured meats and pop it right in the oven and you're ready to go. Thank you.